Hey, what's up guys? Welcome back to Diecast Resurrection. Today we are working on a little python. These are pretty cool rides, very unique. This one's in not bad shape. It's been repainted. As you can see, it was purple. Somebody wanted a black one, so they touched it up. So unfortunately, this is going to need a repaint. Other than that, there isn't too much wrong with it, so let's, uh, let's get started here. Of course, if you're going to do any work on one of these, double check the name. Because if you get a super rare one that says Cheetah instead of Python, it could be worth millions. Not millions, but it's way more valuable than a regular old Python. Looks like somebody missed the old rivet here with the machine. Gave her a double stamp. That adds $20 to the value of this car. Isn't that weird? It's a shame, this is probably a pretty nice car. Before somebody went full paint job on it. Everything here looks really good. And of course our motor needs a touch up. As always. This looks pretty good. Might just use a polish. Since we're here I'm going to redrill these posts. Get them ready for screws. We're going to go ahead and give this little strippy strip. Stripping on a Wednesday. Even though there was some nice purple underneath here, it was still all chipped up the sides, so... Pretty desirable to find these painted cars. It's like little time capsules. Some kid was like, ugh, purple. Gross, I don't want purple. I want a black car. And doing so, perfectly preserving the zinc. It looks really nice. It's real good. It's gonna be the greatest python ever. Okay, pretty sure I got it all here. So I'm gonna go clean this up. We'll be right back. I'm gonna give this a quick polish to even up all this toning. So now that all the toning is evened out, we're okay to paint. I gave this a really good degrease to remove any kind of wax that was in our polish. So I'm ready to paint this bad boy. And to do something different, I'm going to paint this one my favorite color, which is the Spectra Flame Aqua. I realize this is a purple car and it should go back to purple, but we literally just did a purple car. So if you guys are good with Aqua, I'm good with Aqua. Let me get that paint booth ready. So since we've been doing Spectra Flame the new way, where we add color to a urethane clear coat, let's mix up a batch of my secret sauce right here. Since I do so many cars, I bought in bulk. Four parts clear coat, one part activator and then I'm using one part reducer not quite one part three-quarter part reducer 
because that's what daddy likes. We'll add a little color to the mix here. This is such a cool color. I love this color. Ready, Freddy. Get out of there. I'd say that turned out quite nice. Gonna have to hit it with a little soap and water to get some of the extra residue off it. It's looking pretty good. Pretty good, pretty good. So I'm gonna go give this a good wash, some soap and water, get all the extra polish off of here, and we'll come back and probably detail up these tires. I've got our glass ready to go here. We're just going to give it a quick dip in the old Pledge Revive here. Get that looking factory fresh again. Factory fresh. Let that dry over there. I've been going back and forth on doing these wheels. It's kind of a 50-50 split. Some people hate the reproduction wheels some people think well you know you're painting it you might as well the problem is is this pen this liquid chrome doesn't stay nice forever so you're only kind of prolonging the inevitable So to speak. The new wheels are kind of expensive too, so depends. Depends on what you're doing. Someone could believe those are factory, I guess. Big shout out to John Hatchet, who sent Jimmy a hot rod. That is his size. <laughs> it's the coolest thing ever. Yeah, buddy, get in there. Oh, no. What do you think, ladies? I think this might be a color changer. We'll have to test it. I recognize the shade of pink from my childhood. Yeah, Jimmy, we're going to do a restoration on it. Awesome. <laughs> yeah, that thing's perfect. square in there. So I decided to put new wheels on this one. I wasn't going to at first but I changed my mind. Last minute. <laughs> Get out of here pubes. What's going on? There we go.
Right at the last minute I figured this car was going to be too nice to have just dirty factory wheels, so we're switching them. People get so upset when I do this. They cry. They email me and cry. Beauty. That's going to look way nicer. Way nicer. Alright, I'm ready. Let's go. Sneak that sexy glass in there. I didn't do nothing to the interior because it's just plain Jane factory original goodness. We'll get that base on. It's looking real nice already. I love aqua. Love aqua. My old acrylic pen. Get a couple of coats on here. A little bit tough to do on the clear coat. Mostly because the whole thing is clear coat. <laughs> and these are exhaust pipes here. So we'll just give those a touch. Just to bling them up a little bit. We are done. We are done. A little extra dab on there. Let's have a look. Whoops, a daisy. I just sat down to go edit and I realized I forgot to do the top black. <laughs> Don't worry, I got it. I got it. You can see it's still a little bit wet in the center. But all is right in the world again. Our car is complete. So there we go, there's another red line. Leave me a like, leave a comment, and I'll see you in the next one. Thanks for watching guys.